Live action. Yeah! So, we're going to be coming to the duck pond today to catch a snapping turtle. But with this hook. And we're going to just be tying a string to it and tie a string to a tree and put some bait on it. And I'll tell you a little bit more about it when we get there. But, I mean, hey, let's go catch him because he's pretty big. And we've seen him once on camera and two times while I was actually out here. Or at least two times. So, I mean, hoping we'll catch him. And hopefully there's just that one. And one thing I didn't mention in the intro is that the reason we're trapping these type of turtles or catching them is because we're going to get the you know ecosystem back in a good balance and stuff because we're also doing kind of a little bit of um, wildlife management and i mean a part a good part of wildlife management is trapping and trapping is a very important part of you know keeping your um out, uh, outdoors of biodiversity safe and everything and keep it running the way it should because you don't want to have too many predators than you do you know game animals or whatever so it's important that you know we trap and do all that because i mean it really helps the ecosystem out and while we've been trapping these uh, raccoons and possums, that's great. But on this uh, duck pond, which I call Woody Haven, because wood ducks love it, thankfully, when, um, I've been seeing a few times, and actually while I was out there, snapping turtles. And snapping turtles can eat ducklings or maybe even an injured duck. Now, we don't have any injured ducks, thankfully, but we don't want them to um, eat the ducklings because they do have a duck house set up. And when the ducklings jump out and start swimming around, we don't want them having a meal. So. We want to have a good ratio of duck surviving, which is going to be all of them, I believe. And, I mean, hey, we're going to just keep them safe by, you know, keeping these predators out. So, that's the reason. And so, hey, now, let's get back into the video. And Matthew 6, 34 says, Do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. And that's saying right there, basically... Just don't worry. I mean, it's plain and simple. Now, you know, it can seem more complicated than that, but really when you come, when it boils down to it, it's just saying don't worry. I mean, it can be that simple because, I mean, just know that God has it all in control because, I mean, each day has enough trouble on. You got to worry about what you got to do today and just get that accomplished. So don't worry about tomorrow where it's got the hold because just do the task that is at hand today and just know that God's got everything in control today and tomorrow and every day to come. So just trust God with every result and every task you got to do, and you'll live a happy, fulfilled, healthy life. So I just want to encourage you, don't fear, because it's not going to add a single day to your life by fearing. It's not going to give you any more joy. It's just going to take your joy, and it's going to take your peace, too. So just trust God in every situation, whether it's something big or small, whether it's going, moving off somewhere, or any kind of thing. Just trust God, and I want to encourage you to do that. So we're at the duck pond now, and we got the smoked sausage on the hook. The hook's kind of exposed, and I don't know much about catching snapping turtles, but, I mean, hopefully they'll eat it. I mean, I don't know if they're that big, but hopefully the algae on the pond won't um, steer them off, but hopefully they'll come kind of be attracted to it. And what we're going to do is we're going to get this other end of this uh, string right here. We're not going to take the whole thing, but we're going to get the other, another end of it and tie it on that tree right there. I don't think he's taking that tree in there with him, so it should be good and stable. So hopefully he'll be here tomorrow when we come and check it. So, I mean, we're going to throw it in there now and hoping we'll get him tomorrow. And we're probably going to set another one up further down here. That should be good. And now we're going to tie it right there on this tree. So here's the final product of the knot. And don't ask me what kind of knot that is, because if you do, I'm just going to say freestyle. But all I know is that it's not getting anywhere. So, um, it's back there in the water now. And hopefully, hey, we'll have a, a turtle tomorrow. And we're going to put another one up probably through there somewhere. So same concept here. We got another one rigged up. Which come right here. Oh, there's the camera too, by the way. Which come right here. And just gonna throw it out there. Something like that. And now we're gonna tie it to this tree right here. And it should be good. So we have to set out. And hoping that we'll have a turtle or turtles tomorrow. So we also set a bonus dog-proof trap. Might as well catch a raccoon too. 
hopefully there's not many out here but i know the duck pond i seen which is just right there i seen a raccoon print it was either a rat or a possum track but i mean hopefully we'll catch him so we um set two traps the two dog proof traps out here yesterday after we put the stab into the lines out and we caught a raccoon you might be wondering what he's doing he dug a hole and he's sticking his head in it and he's hiding from me because he was trying to get out so hard when i came up so i mean but he dug in a deep hole and is hiding in it now so yeah <laughs> but this, we ain't even checked the turtle traps yet but we're about to <laughs> so we're back out here at the duck pond and it is raining but i do not know if we have anything so we're about to check it but um so let's go check this thing Nope. Wow. And the hot dog's gone. So we're coming back here to the second one. I have no clue if we have anything or not. So we're about to find out. So what we're gonna do is come over here. Nope, nothing. Man. And there's the hook. So, nothing again, but the hot dog was gone, or the smoked sausage was gone both times. So, what does that tell me? The hot, the, the sausage just, just came off somehow or another, or either the, the turtle might have just bit it, and it came off. So, maybe we just need to use a different bait. But, I think what we're going to do is just rig it back up again and try it again, come back tomorrow. <laughs> That should be good. So it is the next day. We're out here. And now we're going to come and check this line right here. I don't know if we have any. Nope, don't have anything. I don't know about this one. Neither. Nope, nothing. So. Two empty hooks. And no turtles. <laughs> well, we're going to bump and hey. Check on tomorrow. So we're out here back today, and I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, I already been at the duck pond without a hoe, and there was a snapping turtle on the bank. So, or basically in the water, but almost on the bank. And it looked like there were some bubbles coming from our line too, one of them. So I'm gonna come back here and hoping to maybe have a snapping turtle out here. I mean, that's gonna be awesome. I, I know he was out here. I know it was definitely a snapping turtle. So we're gonna come out here and see if we can get him with this hoe. <laughs> so he's not giant, but he's a turtle. So I'm gonna come out here and try to get him. So we have a turtle, thankfully, and as you can tell, it's right there. I have a hoe stuck on the line there, so it won't get away. But we also have one right here. So I'm gonna try to bring him in right now. And man, I don't know how big he is, but we'll, we'll find out. Oh, he ain't giant, but he's something. Oh, he don't want to come in. Oh, golly. Ah, he's a good one. Man, we got us a snapping turtle. <laughs> Look at that sucker. Man. He's an alright size. I mean, he's not huge, but he's something. Alright, got a snappy turtle. <laughs> so here he is. He's a fighter, but of course, but that's him. Of course, I'm not getting near his face. 
But, golly, he's trying to get away with everything he can right now, but let's just say he's digging that mud and he pulls hard. So, here's a close up with him. Um, I mean, he's not a giant, he's kind of small, but I mean, hey, <laughs> we got him and God definitely worked it out because I checked with the game warden and the game warden said that you can have two per day per person and we got two comma snare turtles today and it's a comma snare turtle that you can have two a day so god definitely 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 worked it out and so i want to encourage you to check with your rules and regulations at what state or maybe even another country you're in so i think it's definitely important but i mean there we go we got two of them that's pretty cool and then we ain't that big but he's a turtle <laughs> so we're gonna try to somehow another get him untangled around this uh, log because it is wrapped around it and he's not giant neither so that's that may helps my feelings but but he will uh, he his bite is strong on this hoe so maybe we'll be able to get him in I'll catch you whenever we finally got him untangled <laughs> So here's a close up at the second one. We got him untangled, thankfully. He's t he's small, definitely kind of small, but I mean, he's a snapping turtle. I mean, there's kind of my boot next to him. It's about the same size. So, I mean, hey, he's a turtle. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed today's video, and please go ahead and hit that like button if you haven't already, and go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already, too. And I mean, hey, comment below what you want to see in upcoming videos too, please. And I encourage you, hey, don't give up. If you're fishing or something and I haven't caught anything, don't give up. Because we tried catching these stabbing turtles for three days and uh, nothing except for the third day. The third day, ended up catching two of them. So, hey, that's pretty cool. I just want to encourage you, hey, let's go and catch some fish because, hey, it's pretty fun. And go trap and, you know, help this um, natural resources out because it really does help out a lot. And, hey, until the next one, I'll catch you later outdoors. God bless.